In this video, we provide a solution to question number 11 for practice exam number one for math 1030. Now I do say an, a, a solution because there could actually be more than one. There's a lot of different Euler circuits you can construct on this graph. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label the edges so we can see what path we're gonna do. I'm gonna start right here. Um, all of the vertices on this graph are even, so the starting point doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna do something like this. I'm gonna go up and down. So I'm gonna get one, and two like so okay one and two if you want to kind of draw it i'm just going to label them here so i'm then going to go back so i've gone this so far i'm going to go back to my starting point so i'm going to grab vertex three like so um so then i want to kind of my path is i want to go down is i want to go down over here something like that four five six and seven so again so my path so far is i've snaked around like this um, so then I can go upwards like this. So we could get maybe eight, then go down here to be nine. So notice what we've done so far, like so. Um, what, what I'm doing is I'm running Flurry's algorithm right now. I just make sure you avoid all of the edges that are bridges when they occur. Bridges in so much that like if you look at the ones you have unvisited, those are those could be bridges if you disconnect. You, once you use up an edge, it's kind of like it doesn't exist anymore. So you might as well just remove it from the graph. I'm gonna go up here now, um, and then I'm gonna, my plan is to go up here and maybe kind of come back like this. So 10, 11, and then 12 like so. Um, so now that we're located here on the graph, we haven't really done anything on the right-hand side. So just so you're aware, like I basically have used everything on the left-hand side. I do have to end up back here when I'm done. Um, and my, my plan of attack is, well I, well, I have to use this edge at some point. I haven't used that one yet. So that's how I'm gonna get back to the start. So at this point, I'm gonna try to do as much as I can on the right-hand side. The thing is I can't use this edge yet because it's a bridge, because there's no way to get away from it. So I'm avoiding that one. That's what Flurry algorithms does. We avoid edges that are bridges. And so um, the next thing that we can do here is we can go maybe up to 13, and then I'm going to go up here like so. So we get like 13, 14, and 15. Um, now that I'm located here, I'm going to go down like this, here, here, and here, like so. So 16, 17, and 18. I like to do those little caps when I can. Um, now that we're located here, where can we go? We can't go back here yet because that's my only way to get back to the start. So I have to avoid that edge for right now. Uh, but I could go like up here or I could go over here. For the sake of it, I'm just going to go over here. So that'll be 19. That then forces me to go up here. Uh, so that's going to be 20. Now that I'm located here, um, the only place I can go is over here. So it's my only option. So that's got to be 21. And then from here, I got to go over here. I have no options left. Uh, 22 is what I'm going to do there. Then you're going to have to go over here, 23, and then you have to go up here to 24. So my options were forced upon me. And so now if you check this, did this in fact give us an Euler circuit? Let's see how we did here. 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6 to 7 to 8 to 9 to 10 to 11 to 12, then to 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Sure enough, this is an Euler circuit. Every vertex is, or every edge, excuse me, is hit once and only once. Um, be aware that I did construct this uh, Euler circuit using Flurry's algorithm, but Flurry's algorithm basically just says avoid bridges until you absolutely have to. Uh, take them and because of that there are options there are different correct answers to this one if you got a different one that doesn't necessarily mean you did this one wrong um, there are lots of answers as long as you get an Euler circuit I'm perfectly happy with it